And let me see if I can share the screen. Uh, so welcome to the next uh, Stroomsy community meeting. Uh, not too many people today. But yeah, anyway, we should go through it. And as the first point for the agenda, we have new maintainers and component owners. So uh, yeah, we have Stanislav as a new maintainer. And uh, we have also Lukáš and Daniel as component owners for system tests and docs. And for the topic encryption, we have Chris, Pascal and Sean as a component owner. So thanks for all the work, everyone, and uh, welcome on board. Thank you very much. Thank you. I hope I didn't forget anyone. Okay. Then I guess next point on agenda is uh, questions and issues. Uh, if anyone has anything, which I doubt because it's all known faces. Okay. And then we have a bunch of uh, PRs which are there for some time or which I thought we should maybe discuss. So let's go through them. So this one is about the called offline incremental backup script. And I think with Tom, we both left some comments there. But what I was really wondering if is this is something we should have in the main repo because the build is stay, it doesn't have any dependencies on anything else. And the build is now taking longer and longer. So I wonder if, uh, if Federico fix all the all the issues, whether this is something what we should have a separate repository for to make sure the build times for the main repo don't grow and grow and grow. Yeah, I, I agree with the separate repo uh, part. Does seem like more of a, a very useful tool, but um... so that will be a repo for uh, I don't know tools and scripts or well probably right now for this one just for this backup script and so it's not just the, the issue here is that it's not just a script like the report script for example but it's more than that. There's a Docker image, uh, which it is uh, building to kind of be able to mount the volume and copy the data and so on. So if it would be just a script, I wouldn't care because it doesn't take any build time, but it's yet another image which needs to be built and which needs to be pushed into the container registry. And that's what will definitely add another few minutes to the, to the script to the CI times. Yeah, okay. So my, my, my point was just, let's try to create a more general repo instead of having one repo just for this. So what other tools would you put there? Nothing coming to my mind right now. I'm just uh, worried that uh, if someone else will come with some other tool, we are going to create another repo and then another repo and then another repo. But isn't that the easiest way if, uh, 
if the tools have nothing really in common? Yeah, maybe, but they are tools. I'm just thinking aloud. They, they, they are tools. We could have a kind of stream Z tools repo or instead of having one repo for each tool. So I, I, I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's, it's just an idea. If you think that one repo makes sense and no other tools will come in the future or other tools will need a repo, there's help. We can go that way. I, I'm more, but I'm more wondering about is if you put a lot of different unrelated tools into a single repo, then if you ever decide to do some releases there or something, things will get only more complicated, right? Because you need to yeah, right. them at the same time and so on. Okay. So what do we think? Uh, I think just just a repo for this tool, because like you say, Jakob, there, there could be another tool, but it could be completely unrelated. Paolo, Sander? Yeah, I would say for now, uh, have let's have a repo just for this tool. Yeah, fine with me. So I guess I would propose that we tell Federico that we can finish the review on the PR because I think there will be a lot of changes around the OC cube CTL and so on. So maybe let's have that finish first and then we can move it to the separate repo so that we don't create a repository which has nothing for a long time. Yep, sounds good. Okay. The next one was this PR which someone opened, which uh, tries to change the disk size for the examples to two gigs. So I think I already tried to explain to him that two gigs can very easily be too little. Uh, so I guess we should decide what to do with this PR as well. Is it already mentioned in the quick start? I don't think there's anything mentioned in the quick start. I'm not sure what would I exactly mention there, to be honest. Well, not nothing about that, I don't think. Just Minikube memory. I, Minikube doesn't have a problem with this. Minikube creates these fake volumes which don't have a real size, so it doesn't really doesn't really matter for Minikube. I, I have no idea what environment is this person using, but probably some environment which has four gigs of storage quota, so he can create two two gig volumes, but not not more or something like that. I guess. Well, I don't think we need to change the template, do we? Because he's fixed his problem. He's just changed it to two gigs, and it works for him now. Um, yeah, but he feels, I, I guess he opened the PR because he feels like two gigs are the best for everyone because it works for him. Hmm. <laughs> no, because then it becomes a recommendation from us that two gigs is fine. Yeah, and I, I mean, two gigs yeah. are not fine, right? With the yeah. with all the consumer offsets and so on, you really, with two gigs, you run out of disk space like nothing. No, I think it's. I think it's fine to say yeah, two gigs is not enough and we'll go with this default. 
whether they need to and it depends that. on what he's trying to do right because maybe he's just trying to demo how streams work to someone with kind of a couple of consumer one producer things like that well it always depends time. but but like the examples can't really make it work for everyone right no no yes i i totally agree you can just change uh, is yaml file so should we close this yeah, i would say okay. yes yeah, yeah. Uh, daniel is that something what uh, you can maybe think about whether in the quick start guide we want to add some general note like if needed, you can adjust the size or. Yeah, okay. We don't, yeah, it's just we, we don't, uh, we don't edit the Kafka resource at all. So it would be a, it would just be a new step. Or yeah, check, check the size is suitable. I guess he's just trying to say that 200 gigabyte is, is a storage is an awful lot for a quick quick start. So I guess we, we could mention it in the quick start. Yeah. So and then you can change it. Can if you mentioned there's something that the example is using 100 gigabytes of storage. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds reasonable. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. I've had similar feedback at the, actually probably a year or two ago, DevConf Boston, people were asking for like a, a Strimzy light uh, equivalent um, where they could just try out Strimzy without needing, you know, maybe three brokers, three zookeepers, just even though a, a Strimzy light version with like one broker, one zookeeper may not work or be practical. Um, well, it doesn't work. Um, just for testing out purposes. Um, I think this kind of question, it's like, who, who's our audience? Who are we targeting? In this specific case, I think we're targeting, you know, people who are aiming to use this real production users where, yeah, 100 gigs totally makes sense. Um, but for people who want to kind of sandbox, I don't know, maybe something in the future we could think about setting up maybe, you know, even like a, a, a toy repo with toy examples um, for people just getting a, a little taste. Um, I don't know. I'm not well, really... This is already an example, which is only one broker and one zookeeper. That is, I didn't notice that. That's a good point. Yeah, because it, it'll work. It's just, you don't have any fault tolerance. Yeah, yeah. So in, in that case, I mean, I, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm torn because, like I said, if this, if Minikube, if this didn't work with Minikube, I would agree with uh, it works Gabe. With, it works with Minikube. Yeah, no, and that's why I'm saying if Minikube seems to be kind of like, we we suggest it, we have scripts that work um, out of the box with Minikube. So in that case, I tend, I'm agreeing with uh, everyone else on this. Um, okay, good. So I guess that's it. Then the next one is this one, Paolo. And I guess this one is related to it. Any chance to move forward with this? Yeah, so I guess for the first one, um, last week, you uh, started discussion about splitting, right? And you opened one PR about adding two six one. Yeah, the two six one is done already. Okay, so now we should open another PR about uh, removing two five zero and two five zero one. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, so I can. Uh, yeah, I can. Uh, I will commit to work on this. At least I will try. And then uh, the next one uh, has to be reviewed again, I guess, uh, when the yeah the the two five zero and two five one removal will be done as well. 
Yeah, I guess we just in order to, to rebase. Re yeah. Yeah, rebase it and make sure it works after it's removed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, great. Next one or next three, I think are three PRs from you, Standa. So, well, are more or less, I can say another review or. Sorry. You speak together with Paul, so I didn't. No, no, I, no. I I guess that Standa requested my review on these three PRs, so this is what. Uh, Jacob, worse. Yes, I well, was. I think, uh, think, I think for it's waiting first, for my uh, review as well. I, I just not completely clear whether the previous comments are addressed or, or what's the state of that. Uh, for the first first one, uh, it's missing uh, status for topic, but uh, Shubham uh, volunteered or just wanted to, to try that, so I didn't implement it in this PR. And so do you uh, want to wait for that, or, or he promised me he will take a look. Partially done, or um, I think uh, we should wait for him because uh, having this state uh, for some uh, resources or, and not for topic doesn't make much sense for me. Okay. Just please keep in mind that we really need to start the release next week. Yeah, I know. He so, promised me to take a look over the weekend, but you know. Yeah, okay. So, and, okay, uh, that's the state metrics, the post reconciliation. I think, uh, can you scroll down, please? Yeah, I think I addressed most, all, all, all of your comments, so please. Okay. So I guess that's uh, who is it waiting for? Me and Paolo. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Feel Maybe free to request Tom for that as well. Yeah, I was just telling that. A lot of the original code. Not that I don't trust Paolo or my reviews, but yeah, it's a tricky part of. Topic operator, so it's uh, good to have a review from ben Tom Bentley as well. And this one, uh, I wrote a test today, and it's still uh, uh, it's still building and uh, running tests. So let's see whether it passes or not. But it should be it should be done. Okay, and then the next one is about the topic operator. And I don't think we have Paul or Alesh, but if I'm not wrong, I think Alesh owes some responses to some comments. I think this one and this one. Okay, so that should be the the PRs. Anyone has any other PRs to discuss? Then I guess the next thing is uh, one proposal which I opened today. So. Uh, not necessarily big hurry with the review. Uh, 
it's basically we see quite often that the users are confused by checking out the GitHub repository and using the install and example files from that, but it checks out master and master has master installs and resources. So yeah, they often end up with something what's not stable. So the proposal kind of suggests to move the work in progress things or kind of the, the things which we will be changing with the PRs into a separate directory called packaging. And uh, then, uh, yeah, I think there are two options in general, keep the original install examples and, and the help char directories as they are, but just you have there always the last release or uh, the other option, which I originally rejected, but I was kind of undecided was to add the new deploy directory and move the these directories with the late last release to the deploy directory. Uh, I think Paul already commented on the issue that he prefers the, the deploy way. So I guess this is something for everyone to think about and uh, yeah, try to provide some feedback if, uh, if the general feeling is that the deploy is better, then uh, yeah, no problem with that. We can use that. I can update the proposal. Not sure if anyone has anything to that right now. Uh, it's okay, we can give people more time to think. Okay. And I guess that's it for the proposals. The next thing is uh, the Strums data sheet, which I created. So, uh, Thing it went through the reviews it should be now more or less ready i don't think it's really new for anyone on the on the call because we all saw it before but yeah we have it in the minutes and we have it there for the record unless someone has something about it okay then uh, from last time we wanted to get back to the discussion around the UI and admin API repositories, but I'm not sure given we have just uh, six people, whether we want to go back to it now or maybe try next time when we have more people. What do you think? It's probably a bigger discussion. Yeah, I agree. I would just mention, uh, or not. <laughs> okay, then let's do it next time. And then, uh, so I know Tom was interested in this, but he's not here either. Uh, so CNCF is taking part in the Google Summer of Code. I know last week, I think Tom tried to put together something. I don't know, were you involved as well, Tom? Uh, tried to put together some proposal for something similar around, I think the topic operator and changing the replication factor or something. Yes, I don't know if that was Tom's proposal. We talked about it, mentioned it a while back. So yeah, I wanted to mention that in theory we can propose something like that for the Google Summer of Code as well. Yeah, I think that's so a really, good, really good project. If anyone is interested or if uh, someone has some other proposal, we can take part in that. Sorry, Jakub, the audio broke up on my side. Uh, what was the proposal about? I so I think. 
Tom mentioned last week, or actually he was off last week, so maybe the week before, uh, that they did some proposal, I think, or something around topic operator and replication factor changes or something like that for some similar activity, for some similar project like Google Summer of Code. Uh, but I'm not sure it succeeded. I don't think so. So uh, yeah, in theory, we can try that with Google Summer of Code as well. Okay. Thanks. Tom Bentley is not here, so. Yep. So I guess I can check with him offline. Okay, I guess that's it for the agenda. Anyone has any other business? Okay, then uh, I guess this might be it for today. Okay, thanks guys. Thank you. See you Bye. guys, thank you very much, bye.